what is up to all my fell-handed finessers? It is I, the Finesse Father, and today we have a community replay with none other than DGen. He has been on here before. If you check the description box below, you're going to see a link to his channel. Make sure to go check that out. And today, he is in his Iowa, and he's going to go out here and put some people in submission. The Iowa is a Tier 7 American Battleship. Now guys, if you're wondering how you would get your video on the channel, all you have to do is, for one thing, let me know. You can send me a message Xbox Live or on the Facebook, Twitter, what have you. And then just send me a link to the video. I have to be able to pull it. Uh, YouTube works very, very well if you've got it up on YouTube, what have you. And then I will, of course, lather it up with my magic and then post it and bada bing, bada boom, it's done. So, something to think about. Also, we are wide open for next week as far as uh, guest streamers with me. So, Monday is taken up. That That is going to be Spartan Elite's permanent day. So, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday's wide open, 7 to 9, as usual, p.m. Eastern. So, if you're interested in that, hit me up as well. Back to the game at hand. We are advancing in this area right here. We're trying to decide exactly what we want to shoot. Uh, the, the, the benefit is, is if we aim at this gentleman here at the left, there's a chance we can get the stern gun in on the action. However... Uh, the two gentlemen are 12 o'clock. The bow super-firing guns are going to kind of be the way to go. Now, don't let this thing fool you. You know, I know some guys who they have to get every single gun on target every single time they fire. And, you know, when the Atlanta, it's just not true. And the Atlanta has the, or excuse me, the Iowa. The Iowa has the same setup as, say, for example, the Japanese Tier 5A Oba. You've got two super firing guns in the front and one in the stern. So you can actually go out there and make some things happen with just the, the bow mounted guns. As you can see here, we're up to 21,000 damage and we've barely even got into the match. The Iowa is just an enormous puncher and when you really get down to it, when they get in range, uh, it's just going to make the magic happen. We were angled up very, very well there for that shot. Did not take a lot of damage. Uh, this is a. This would have been a really good shot for him to lay on us had he been shooting AP instead of high X. Uh, but then again, a lot of the, the British ships end up firing high X simply because of the high fire chance. Uh, we did manage to pull a Citadel on him, which was good. However, we didn't do you know as much damage. I think we did 14k or so, uh, as we have already done to the uh, gentleman previously. But, you know, we're still, we're out here, we're making it happen. Uh, we're on fire just a little bit, that's fine. If you're in a battleship in this game, you have to be okay with burning to death. It's just a thing. But it's fine, we'll fix it later. Side note, the repair uh, consumable will fix all your fire damage. Just in case you were not privy to that. Now, we're doing something very, very smart, folks. What we're doing is we're posting up behind this island... And the reason being, uh, we are limiting shots. As you can see here, we're going to pull out see if we can't maybe get some guns on target. But if things go south, we start taking rounds from the gentleman there to the far left, we can back up and limit our exposure to a few ships. And what that boils down to, that is just plain good sailing. You always want to limit your exposure. I mean, you don't have to be in a battleship. You just... You want to limit the amount of rounds that people can physically put on you. And see, as you can see now, we're backing up, and that's exactly what we're doing. We're trying to kind of not let that guy shoot at us. If it does, there's a chance it will derp into the side of the island right there. So that's kind of exactly what we're doing. He's not necessarily focused at us. We're going to go ahead and send some rounds in here. We're up to 54,000 damage. A lot of damage there. Wow, we citadeled that gentleman right there. Holy shnikey. We hit him for about 25-ish K. Excellent, excellent hit. Very, very strong hit. Uh, he... <laughs> and keep in mind, guys, that's only 66% of our firepower. 
because if I am not mistaken, the stern gun did not even get involved, which is just fantastic. If you broadside against this bad boy, you are going to get punished more so if D-Gen is behind the helm. Now we've got a good shot here. Uh, it looks like one of our rounds possibly might have missed, but you know what? That's kind of the thing. When the RNG comes into a factor, sometimes the, the spread looks horrible and sometimes it looks perfect. Like I said before, it can all be Shakespeare. 85,000 damage, uh, almost rounding up, of course. <laughs> we're out here making it happen, folks. Uh, we're really putting some people in submission. We're taking the team apart as it is. A uh, team's four down. We're one down. We've got that advantage. And if you've watched any of my previous videos, wow, we sit down that gentleman again. We're up in the, in the six digits. If you watched any of my other videos, you kind of understand what I'm speaking about. About if when the team one team loses too many ships, things become exponentially harder for them. If the other team is in a good good position, and what that means is is if they can put enough of their firepower to bear, then it's going to make things exponentially harder. But if this is one of those games where you see, uh, you know, a ship pushing the edge in the southwest corner and one in the northeast and so on and so forth, then it may, <laughs> they may lose what little opportunity or little advantage they have. Uh, so that, that may be the case and it may not but either way, you know, if you focus just enough on the footage alone, we are putting in work. Look at that spread. Oh my gosh, that is amazing. It, I never get shots like that. I'm a little jelly. <laughs> it's a perfect, perfect spread right there. Nice dispersion. It went in perfect. That's what she said. 100 plus K right now. Three guys left on the map. Not a whole lot of damage left to farm, folks. And that's kind of the thing. I say this a lot, or I did say this a lot in some of my World of Tank videos, is that you know you want your team to do well simply because you'll be able to survive longer and do more damage, but at the same time, you don't want them to do too well. And this is kind of that case, folks, where the team has done too well and there's not enough meat left on the bone, because if there was meat left on the bone, then trust me, d -Gen and his Iowa would be first in line at the buffet simply because there wouldn't be much left. And that's kind of what we have going on here. You know, we're using the, the massive range of this particular ship and we, we are just putting people in submission from a distance. Now, as you can see here, we've got two guys left, and at this point, it's not even really a consideration. Unless we really, really fumble, or we lose on points, there's not really any surprises going to be had. Now, granted, of course, if we had multiple ships that were one-shots, then you would look back and you would say, okay, well, maybe they could pull this out. We have a, a, a nearly a full-health Iowa, especially operated by this particular gentleman, and we know for a fact that we're not losing on points so it is more or less a foregone conclusion so we are essentially racing for damage and that is what we're trying to do trying to kind of get up there as much as possible we're at 122 K right now and we're just trying to move the needle up a little bit now this is the point in the game the end game where the DDs and the cruisers and the faster ships really have advantage over us especially the cruisers with torps because they can kind of get in range of the target and lay the hammer down. Now a lot of times we have such enormous range that we can kind of reach out and touch whatever they end up lighting up but you know if they're making good use of islands what have you it's not gonna happen. Uh, in this particular game though this gentleman decided to come out from this island uh, it's a bad move it's not a good look for him here he's got a lot of rounds coming in at him uh, he managed to survive that. Uh, he returned fire there. We're perfectly angled up. That is literally, guys, textbook the way you want to be angled. Just turn your hull in or out just a little bit. You don't want to go crazy. And occasionally you do have to bow tank, folks, but this is not that case. 
Uh, we're going to go ahead and fire the guns on in there. After that, our stern guns. Didn't do a whole lot. And that's okay, because that happens. Sometimes RNG is not with us. And that guy gets deleted slash game over. So, you know, it is what it is. You can't, you can't murder everything. 127,000 damage, 684. Citadels out the wazoo. 166,000 silver. Guys, I really hope you enjoy. Make sure to check by the stream Monday through Friday, 7 and 9 p.m. Eastern, and the video at 11 p.m. Eastern as well. Blur. And also, for heaven's sakes, go in the description box and go down and check out DGen's channel. We'll see you guys next time.